Hi everyone, I hope you are doing well. I have a quick word from the Lord here today for you. With every word, take it before the Lord and ask Him for confirmation if this word resonates in your spirit. I'll type out this word and I'll put it on the blog page and I'll put the link down below in the description of this video for you guys if you want to read through it in your own time. So before I read this word, I'll just pray over it. My beautiful God, Lord, we just worship you. Daddy, you're just so amazing. And Lord, as we have celebrated Christmas, Lord, we just thank you so much for bringing Jesus to the world, Lord, for us to grow up as a child, Lord, and to walk this earth and to die for us on the cross and be raised again. My Lord, what a privilege for us it is to have such a joy in just of who you are just how much you love us, that you would do that for us. Thank you for that, my Lord. Thank you that you created us to be here on this earth with you, Lord, to just walk with you and delight in you. My beautiful King, I just come in the name of Jesus and I give you this video and I ask my Lord that you would just cover it, my Lord Jesus, with the power of your blood and with the power of your name. And Lord, I just bind and I break in the name of Jesus and my power of Jesus' blood any attack of the enemy over this word and I ask my Lord that you will let it reach whoever needs to hear it in any prompt manner Lord. I thank you for that my beautiful God in Jesus mighty name. All right I'll read the word for you. So the Lord said, feed your heart child, feed your heart, feed your heart on my word, on my truth. See I lay before you choices every day it is your decision what you will choose. If you keep feeding on worldly lusts and passions, is that not what you will be full of? You are what you eat, child. Have you heard this expression before? It is true and applicable to my word too. For if you feed on my word and fill yourself with it, will you not become more and more godly? Would you not understand my ways and my nature better? Just like when you eat unhealthy foods, you feel sluggish, tired, overweight, not good. Your body was not created to constantly be filled with junk food. The consequences and outcomes from persistently wrong food choices leads to a negative impact on your health and body. But if you consistently and persistently feed your body healthy, nourishing foods, you feel healthy, strong, energetic, full of life. Same with your soul, child, same with your soul. If you keep feeding it the rubbish the world offers you, your soul will feel unhealthy and it will have a negative impact on you. But if you feed your soul my word and my truth, you will be full of life and abundance in your inner man. How else does a man mature and grow stronger? Is it not through training in righteousness? Do you want to keep being fed milk all your life? Or would you like to move on to mature feastings? The choice is yours. My words will bring you life and nourishment for your soul. So eat and live. Eat and prosper. My yoke is easy and my burden is light. Choose the narrow way, for broad is the way that leads to destruction, and many enter through it. Let it be not so with you, child. Ask of me and I will teach you. I am the great shepherd. My beautiful Lord, we just thank you so much for this word. My King, thank you that you just always know what we need to hear when we need to hear it. My beautiful God, I pray in the name of Jesus for whoever this word is for. Lord, that you would just give them such a hunger to read your word, to study it, meditate on it. And Lord, I pray that as I sit with you in your word, that you would just give them such amazing revelation and make it so much fun for them, Lord, that you would help them to hear your voice as they sit in your truth. God, help all of us to be trained in righteousness more and more and to be equipped more and more. Lord, help us to live blameless and pure and holy lives before you. My Lord, we love you, we honor you, and all we want to do is lay down our lives and in pursuit of you, my King. Help us to do that every day. For you are beautiful and most worthy. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, my brothers and sisters, have a wonderful day. God bless you.